In today's video, I've created a third person system that works with the Roblox FPS template. Before we start, as we all know, April Fools was two days ago and I posted an email that looks like it came from Roblox, stating that I've been accepted as an internal Roblox templates developer. I saw a bunch of comments congratulating me and being super excited, though I hate to break it to you, but that email was not real. But I really appreciated everyone's reactions to the post, and it shows me that you guys really appreciate the work that I do, so thank you. Now in the description you will find a free model. Once you have the free model inserted into the game, open it up and look inside of the readme. We'll come back to this in a bit. Before we do anything, click on starter player and change the camera mode from lock first person to classic. And I recommend changing the max camera zoom to 10. Now go to replicated storage Blaster, Scripts, and open up the ViewModel Controller module. Now, the first thing that you have to copy over from the README is this singular line. Copy this line and paste it at the top of the ViewModel Controller. Now, after you've done that, scroll down to the Update function. Then go back to the README and copy all of this code. Now go back to the update function and select this code. Depending on whether you've modified the update function before or if you have used one of my other systems, this bit of code may be somewhere else in the update function, but if you're just using the unmodified template out of the box, it will be at the very top of the update function as shown here. And now you can paste the code that you've just copied into the update function. And lastly, go back to the README and copy this bit of code. And go back to the ViewModel controller and find the play shoot animation function right over here. Now select these three lines and paste the new code. Now you're all set. It should be noted that there isn't really anything that you have to modify in the script, but if you want to modify something, everything is pretty straightforward. Let's playtest it. As you can see, this is how it looks like in third person. Everything works great. And if you'd like, you can go back into first person by scrolling into first person as usual. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please consider subscribing and commenting down below your video suggestions. And don't forget to vote in the weekly polls. Thanks for watching.